Dreadful Circus from Portal Games. And I love, love, love the color scheme of this all, oh, man. It's so bright and cool and, oh, just love. And I, you know, I love the circus. At least Cirque du Soleil. I don't know how I'd feel about, like, you know, just, like, sad elephants and clowns and stuff like that. I haven't been to one of those circuses. But Cirque du Soleil is tight. So that's what I'm choosing to believe. This is Cirque du Soleil, but a dreadful one. A dreadful Cirque du Soleil. Um, this is a game where you are... Oh. Everything's already been punched out. Oh, dang it. That's right. I've played this game for the last two nights in a row. And I forgot to do this unboxing video before I played the game. So, look. Lots of great components. They're already you know, punched out because I did them. I already assembled these boxes. I spent an hour assembling all these boxes and I totally, oh God, this is embarrassing to show on this video. Okay, let's put it away. Check it out, Dreadful Circus. It's a really fun game. I've enjoyed it the last two nights unboxing over. Ultimate Werewolf Extreme. Yeah, this werewolf is extreme, man. This werewolf skateboards huh this werewolf howls at the moon and then goes and catches some waves real cool werewolf brah real cool werewolf so this is the newest game in the werewolf line from bezier games uh this game uh i know it has uh, more roles uh more um things like that but then one of the coolest things about this game is it comes with a companion app so there is a companion app that can run your uh, game for you. So, you know, you can do, um, the, I've looked through the app and in the app you can uh, choose which roles. So you can say, I want like a low complexity game. And then it'll say, these are the roles you should pick. Or I want, I've got 12 players and I want a medium complexity game. Then it'll, uh, it'll set the deck for you. So that's really cool. And you can see there's a lot of room in here for extra cards and uh, extra stuff like that. And Bezier also released at the same time, they released Ultimate Werewolf Pro and Ultimate Werewolf Bonus Rolls. So this uh, is for people who are already very comfortable with Ultimate Werewolf, you know, you're a pro at it. And this, surprise, surprise, is more rolls for Ultimate Werewolf Extreme. I bet you got that. You probably got there without me saying that. You do, just by the title. We just have extra rolls, and then this brings us back to this. Oh my God, look at it fit right there. It's almost like they planned this. It's almost like they had a plan when they made these boxes. I'm gonna put this other stuff in there right now. Look at this. Ultimate Werewolf Pro, you're going in the box too. And I'm done. Get out of here. I don't need you guys anymore. You're done, boxes. Just this one. Ultimate Werewolf Extreme and Expansions. Coyote. Look, I know I'm not really putting anything past anyone right now, but this is a small game, okay? It's very small. This is a small box. That's my hand. That's the box, okay? The box is smaller than my hand. I have small hands. The box is still smaller. So... This is a card game, uh, a bluffing game, where you get to lie a bunch. And to be honest, I really like games where I get to lie. I think it's because I don't like to lie in real life. So when a game gives me permission to lie, I'm like, yes! Finally, an excuse to be the worst version of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna lie about everything tonight. So, this is just a, uh, a simple, small card game. Uh, this is a game where you can take anywhere with you, and, you know, it's got cards and stands. And that is all there is to it. Paranormal Detectives. This one has circled my wish list for years, and I finally got it. Uh, in this game, one person plays as a ghost who's died, and the other plays as paranormal detectives trying to figure out how they died. And I love other games like this, like Mysterium, so I really wanted to try this one. This is a party game, uh, so it's not like, uh, 
you know, oh God, somebody's dead and we're all sad. Oh no, how did they die? No, it's like a party game that's silly and fun. And you can tell by the artwork, it's very, I don't know, it's very vibrant and fun. Who knew a game about death could have this much color? <gasps> oh, Ouija board. I don't know if I believe those things. Somebody's pushing it. Maybe you don't even know you're pushing it, but you're pushing it. Great. Dry erase pens. Hope these work more than twice. Here's the game, Nice Buns. <gasps> Trevor, don't say that, Nice Buns. What? I just meant the game, Nice Buns. Oh, okay, you could say that then. And I also meant your butt. <laughs> so, this is a family weight game that, um, ha oh gosh, I can't open, there we go. This is a family weight game, like I was saying before this tape rudely interrupted me. Oh, nice buns, you know? This is the one appropriate time you can say that, and it's not a cat call. Yeah, don't cat call people, it's very rude. Look at these, all these little buds. Can you see this? They all have little, little smiley faces on them. Yeah, I love it, there we go. Focus on the smiley face camera. So these are all just little fun and you're just collecting them. Hey, that's a good time. I've wanted to try trap words for years and I finally have it. This is a really interesting game. Um, it is a word game, but it is a word game that is set in a dungeon. So you have to... Your team has a, a secret word and your teammates got to guess it. And as you move through the dungeon, the parameters become harder and harder. And uh, boy, leave it to board gamers. We took something common like a word game and made it as nerdy as possible. Ooh, how can we make this word game set in a dungeon? Timer, I'll probably never use that. Nobody wants anxiety in a board game. Oh, a pencil sharpener. I'll also probably not use that, but thank you, CG, for including these things, these components that will be nice to look at. Oh, look at that. So a bunch of different dungeon tiles and stuff like that. All of them let you do certain things. So this is just a secret word game, but set in a dungeon, because board gamers are geeks, and I love it so much.